<clears throat> okay, so in today's lesson, we are going to be working on perimeter, but the, the perimeter problems that we've done before have been with whole numbers, so like a length of 3 and a height of 2. The problems that we're going to be working on today have fractions with their number, so they have a mixed number for the sides. So you do it the same way as you do um, perimeter for any other rectangle, but you just have to deal with the fractions this time. So first of all, I want you to think about what you do to find the perimeter of a rectangle. So pause the video right now and just kind of tell yourself what you do to find the perimeter. So if you remember when we do, <coughs> sorry, when we do the perimeter of a rectangle, we have to add all four sides. So perimeter, it's the perimeter around the outside, everything around the outside. So the <clears throat> um, formula could be that the perimeter, actually I'm gonna go into the text mode so I don't have to type that all out or to write it all out. So the formula would be perimeter equals length plus length plus width plus width. That's one way you think of it. You could also think of it as um, you're doing the length times two, and then you're doing the width times two, and then you're adding them together. You could also do length plus width plus length, sorry, <clears throat> plus width. Okay, it doesn't matter what order you do it, as long as you add all four sides in some manner. So when we see this problem here, we have a length of three and a half and a width of two and a half. So if we plug that into one of our um, formulas, I'm going to do that over here. <clears throat> Maybe. Okay, so um, my first formula says that the perimeter is equal to length plus length plus width plus width. So my length is three and a half plus three and a half plus my width is two and a half plus two and a half. Okay, <clears throat> so that is the equation that would match with this formula. Okay, the second formula says length times two, so it would be three and a half times two, and then width times two, so two and a half times two. So that's the formula, or the equation that would go with this formula. And then the last formula says it's length plus width plus length plus width. So three and a half plus two and a half plus three and a half plus two and a half. Okay. <clears throat> so um, you could do any one of those equations. You should get the same answer. Okay. So if we do three and a half plus three and a half, three plus three is six. And then one half plus one half. I wish I could move that somehow. Do not know how to move things. <clears throat> um, so I'm just gonna write over top of the other one, I guess. Three and a half plus three and a half. Three plus three is six. One half plus one half is two halves. And then two and a half plus two and a half. Two plus two is four. And one half plus one half is two halves. Okay, so if you change that, <coughs> six and two halves, two halves is the same as one whole, so that would be the same as seven. Um, and four and two halves would be the same as four plus one, which would be five. So that perimeter would equal 12. Okay, so for the second one, um, three and a half times two. So it's your multiplying fraction, so three times two is six. 2 times 1 half is 2 halves, plus 2 and a half times 2 would be 4 and 2 halves. Same thing. So then if you um, 
change six and, six and two halves to seven and four and two halves to five, you are gonna end up with 12. And then down below, we have three and a half plus two and a half. So that would be five and two halves. And then same thing again, three and a half plus two and a half would be five and two halves. So five and two halves would be the same as six. And five and two halves would be the same as six. So we'd be doing six plus six. So our perimeter um, is 12. Okay. All right, so let's go on to another one. Three and two fourths plus three fourths. So go ahead and see if you can get the answer to this. Pause it for a second and then come back and see the answers. <clears throat> okay, so um, three and two fourths plus, I'm gonna do the length plus length plus width plus width is the formula that I'm gonna be using, but you can use um, any of the formulas that you want. So three and two fourths plus three and two fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths. So three and two fourths plus three and two fourths is six and four fourths. And three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths. So I end up with six and ten fourths. <clears throat> and ten fourths is the same as four fourths is one whole, eight fourths is two wholes. And then I have two more fourths, so it's the same as eight and two fourths. Or eight and a half. Okay, so any of these three answers is okay. Six and ten fourths, eight and two fourths, or eight and a half. Um, I know some of the kids like to change it into um, improper fractions. So if you did that, um, I know I have at least one student that does that. So three and two fourths would be 14 fourths plus three fourths. Oh, sorry. Plus 14 fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths. So if you did it that way, you'd have um, 18 fourths plus six fourths, which would be 21 fourths. So actually, this is a correct answer also. Okay. Um, Nope, sorry, I added that wrong. 28, 34. <clears throat> um, so you could have six and 10 fourths, eight and two fourths, eight and a half, or 34 fourths. All of those would be correct answers. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. So this one is a little bit different because they tell you what the perimeter is and they give you one of the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and right over here, since this is a rectangle, um, one thing I know, because I know um, some things about rectangles, that this side and this side have to be the same length. So this is 3 tenths and this is 3 tenths. <clears throat> it tells me the perimeter is 8 tenths. So if I plug it into my formula, um, the perimeter is equal to length plus length plus width plus width, okay? And I already know that my perimeter is 8 tenths. They told me that. <clears throat> so if I work this out further, I know that 6 tenths plus m plus m is going to be equal to 8 tenths. So I have to figure out what each one of these sides has to equal to be 8 tenths. And because I know um, in a rectangle these two sides are the same, m has to be the same number. So 6 tenths plus, plus this plus this is going to equal 8 tenths. So if you, um, you could do 8 tenths minus 6 tenths, and we know that that's 2 tenths. And then we have to split 2 tenths in half, and that would be 1 tenth each. So m has to equal one tenth, and you could even, you know, try it out. Try it out in your formula. So three tenths plus three tenths plus one tenth plus one tenth should equal your perimeter, which would be eight tenths. <clears throat> okay. Um, here's another one where they give you the perimeter, 
and this time they're giving you the width. So again, you can go ahead and do your work and then stop back to see what the answer is. So I know the perimeter is going to be 4 and 6 tenths. And I'm going to have my length plus my length plus my width plus my width. Okay, so <clears throat> 4 and 6 tenths is equal to L plus L plus 2 and 2 tenths. Okay, so then I would have to figure out what part is missing. So 4 and 6 tenths minus 2 and 2 tenths would be 2 and 4 tenths. So I have to take 2 and 4 tenths and I have to split that in half. So half of 2 would be 1 and half of 4 tenths would be 2 tenths. So 1 and 2 tenths would be my answer. So then if you plug it into your equation, 1 and 2 tenths plus 1 and 2 tenths plus 1 and 1 tenth plus 1 and 1 tenth should give you... <coughs> four and six tenths. So we have one, two, three, four. There's our four. Two tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. So that is correct. <clears throat> okay, again, they give you the perimeter and here's your width. So go ahead and figure out the answer. <clears throat> so this time the perimeter is two and eighteen hundredths and that is equal to my length, which I don't know. So I'm going to put my um, unknown variable in there. Length plus length plus six hundredths plus six hundredths. Okay, so two and eighteen hundredths is equal to L plus L plus. 12 hundredths. <clears throat> okay, so if I want to figure out what's left, then I have to subtract 2 and 18 hundredths minus what they already gave me. The 12 hundredths would be equal to 2 and 6 hundredths. And again, since I have two sides that both have to be the same, I have to split 2 and 6 hundredths in half. So half of 2 is 1, and half of 6 hundredths is 3 hundredths. So 1 and 3 hundredths would be my length. So again, I can plug that in. 2 and 18 hundredths is equal to 1 and 3 hundredths plus 1 and 3 hundredths plus 6 hundredths plus 6 hundredths. And I should get 2 and 18 hundredths. So 1, 2, 2 holes, 3 hundredths, 6 hundredths, 12 hundredths, 18 hundredths. So that is my correct answer. So 1 and 3 hundredths would be my length. Okay, here's the last problem, and then I'll um, put the home link on. So again, they tell you the perimeter. The perimeter is 8 and 2 thirds. The length is 2 and 2 thirds. So you have to figure out the missing width. So go ahead and pause and do your work. Okay, so our perimeter is 8 and 2 thirds, and that is equal to the length plus the length plus the width, which we don't know, plus the width, okay? So that means that 8 and 2 thirds is equal to 4 and 4 thirds plus W, <laughs> plus W, okay? So then if I subtract, and I'm going to do this one over here, and I think you'll see why. Okay, so I have 8 and 2 thirds, and I have to subtract 4 and 4 thirds. Okay, so there's a couple different things I could do here. Um, I could change 4 and 4 thirds into a mixed number, because right now this is an improper fraction. So I could change 4 thirds into 3 thirds plus 1, four, one third, which would be 5 and 1 third. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it with the numbers that you actually come up with. 
because there are still some students who are having trouble changing this. So if you if you want to change that, then you go right ahead. If you want to leave it this way, then remember when we subtract, if we have two thirds up here and four thirds down here, we have to borrow so we have more thirds. So we're going to borrow a whole number and we're going to take that one whole and we're going to change it into thirds. So one whole is equal to three thirds. So I'm going to add three thirds here. And so now I have five thirds on top. So I have seven and five thirds minus four and four thirds. So five thirds minus four thirds is one third. And seven minus four is three. Okay, so three and one third is what I have left. Okay, so now <clears throat> this is where we um, kind of have some problems because we've got uh, this one you cannot split easily. So we have to figure out how to split three and one third so that it's the same on each side. Okay, so pause your video and see if you can figure out how to do that if you haven't done that already. So <clears throat> three and one third, um, one way that you could do this is to um, think about how many total thirds you have. So three, three holes is equal to three thirds, six thirds, and nine thirds. So this is nine thirds, and this is one more third. So three and one thirds is equal to 10 thirds, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, <clears throat> okay, so three and one third is equal to ten thirds. And ten thirds you can split because half of ten thirds is equal to five thirds. So um, your W would be equal to five thirds. Um, now you can split five thirds and you can change that into one and two thirds. So W is also equal to one and two thirds. Okay, this one was a little bit trickier. This one is the last problem. Usually the last problems are a little harder. So um, now if I fill in my blanks, eight and two thirds is equal to two and two thirds plus two and two thirds plus, um, Sorry, one and two thirds plus one and two thirds. You could also put five thirds in there, it doesn't matter. Um, so if you add those all up, two, four, five, six, so that's equal to six, and then you have two, four, five, six, seven, eight thirds, which is the same as two and two thirds. So um, you get eight and two thirds. So one, one and two thirds is your width for number six. Okay, so I'll go ahead and post the home link, and if you want to work on that and then come back later to see the answers, you are welcome to. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.